What do we have here? These mosquitoes are sucking your blood. That's the worst thing in the world. Let's see how this goes. Let's watch the video together. You know what happens when mosquitoes suck your blood? First of all, let me popularize a little knowledge for everyone. Mosquitoes that suck blood are all female mosquitoes. Female mosquitoes reproduce their offspring, need to increase nutrition through blood sucking, and male mosquitoes only suck up plant sap, especially sweet juices. So how do female mosquitoes actually suck blood? The first step is to find the target. It will find us based on the smell of carbon dioxide we exhale, and then based on the sweating situation, select bite object. People who sweat more are more likely to become targets of mosquito bites. After the mosquito lands on your skin, it will first spit some saliva, apply local anesthesia to your skin, and then it needs six needles to suck your blood away. Each needle has a clear division of labor. The first two jagged needles, responsible for cutting through your skin. The latter two are mainly responsible for clearing obstacles. With the coordination of these four needles, the blood sucking channel will be opened. After opening, it won't immediately suck blood, and it will use the middle needle to inject a chemical substance into your blood to prevent blood clotting. The last needle is used for sucking blood. It can automatically find suitable blood vessels and then insert it without hesitation while sucking blood. It will also bring the virus into your body. The entire blood sucking process will last approximately 1.5 minutes. It will suck up 2 to 5 milligrams of blood, about twice the weight of it. When you feel pain, actually, it's already had enough to eat and drink. Even if you shoot it to death at this moment, your skin will still be swollen and itchy because the saliva it spits on your skin can cause an allergic reaction. To eliminate foreign bacteria, your body will transport a large amount of immune cells to the bitten area. That's why the bitten area is swollen. What do you think of this? I think that's crazy. It sounds like a whole operational surgery going on in less than a minute and a half. Hey, at this point, once you get bitten, there's nothing you can do. I say slap some aloe vera on it and call it a day. Can you do?